first, let's start with Marley Martinez in the studio about the proposed six-week abortion ban. And Marley, this ban allows for exceptions, but critics say those could be difficult to meet. There are exceptions for rape, incest, and if the woman's life is in danger. But House Bill 7 says the woman first has to prove it. This abortion ban is insane and you guys are gonna kill people for over two hours emotions flooded the room during the first hearing of house bill 7 a proposed ban on abortions after six weeks and we're hoping that this six-week bill will save more lives and prevent a lot of more broken hearts from women who have come into this state to have abortions. Republican State Representative Jenna Persons Mullica from Fort Myers says the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade opened the door for her to file this bill. I felt it was ready to bring forward additional restrictions that and good policies that promote life in the state of Florida. Many women don't even know they're pregnant at six weeks. There's evidence that there is a heartbeat at six weeks. The proposal allows for exceptions if the woman is a victim of rape, incest, or if her life is on the line. But there has to be proof. Two physicians certifying that the woman's life is in danger or documents like a restraining order, police report, or medical record proving rape or incest. The amount of paperwork a woman has to go through to show that they are raped is re-traumatizing. Two to three victims do not ever even report their rapes. When we talk about having to have two physicians, in communities that I represent, we barely have one that can see you for your blood pressure. Some showed up in support of HB7, but say they want lawmakers to go for an all-out ban. Here and now, in post Roe versus Wade, Florida, to do anything less than full protection is cowardly and unacceptable in this new Dobbs era. With a Republican supermajority in the legislature, supporters are expecting the bill to make it to Governor Ron DeSantis' desk. DeSantis weighed in on the proposal last week. I think, I think those exceptions are sensible, and like I said, we, we welcome pro-life legislation. The vote today was 13-4-5 against. So now House Bill 7 moves forward to the next committee. There's a sister bill in the Senate. Stuart, Nancy. 